Well, welcome to the willow tree behind my house. It's a lovely afternoon. The sun is out for once. Uh, we've got the little stream running past us here. And uh, yeah, we're sat in a willow tree because I want to talk about rooting hormone. Uh, you get these little jars of a white powder. In my experience, white powder is not a good thing um, at the garden center, and that's called a rooting hormone. Um, on the label of the rooting hormone, it says keep away from animals, children, vegetables, delivery vans, space shuttles, you know, it's not good stuff. Um, I wouldn't trust it as far as I can throw it. But there is another option and that's organic rooting hormone. Uh, and that's why I'm sitting in a tree. This is a willow tree, it's a crack willow tree because when you snap a twig, it makes a very distinct crack. Very distinct crack. So what we're gonna do is collect some leaves then I'm going to take it home, make some of this willow tea rooting hormone, and then I'm also going to compare it with some other rooting hormones in another video. So, subscribe. There's a button up there somewhere. Click it. I think I've pointed the right way. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'll show you this um, willow tea rooting hormone as well as some others. There's, you know, aloe vera, honey, and then we'll compare them side by side as well as some normal plain old tap water and possibly even some of the chemical rooting hormone if I can bring myself to get some. So, let's uh, harvest some willow. So what we're looking for is the new shoots, the growth that's still green. So we're looking at the uh, the twig. The twig is still green. That's the bit we want. So we need to collect a couple of those. And then we'll take that home with us. I left the willow leaves to dry overnight. You don't have to, but I find it makes them a lot easier to chop up into small pieces, which is what we need to do now. We need to sort of chop them into the tiniest pieces we possibly can, or we can be bothered to, and then just scoop it into a pan. Now also grab the green sections of twig and chop those up as well. Now we need to add some hot water and bring the whole thing to a boil. So I like to put a little bit of water in the pan and then boil the kettle and throw some hot water over the top. Then I whack a lid on, let it boil, and then I need to let it sit and simmer for approximately an hour or so. It also can't hurt to give it a stir as often as you possibly can. After letting it cool for about an hour or so and a change of music, I use a French press coffee maker to strain out the leaves and the little bits of stick. So with all the little bits of leaves strained out, we've got our finished willow tea organic rooting hormone. So I'll pour this into a glass, I'll put some cling wrap over it and I'll stick it in the fridge so I can use it anytime. Now it should last probably a week or two and then you probably need to make an, a new batch. So that's willow tea organic rooting hormone. Now I'm going to do a test to see whether or not this rooting hormone stacks up against the other organic rooting hormones, possibly even the chemical rooting hormone. So that's going to be in a follow-up video so please make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you have any organic rooting hormone ideas or concepts let me know because I'll try those as well. But for now thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video.